Huh. Yeah. Should I make it live? We're live. Hey there, Lockernets. Hey, everyone. Welcome. All right. Thanks for being here. We're on... live. Hey there, Lockernets. Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like we have we volume have on. Feedback. So what do we have? We have 40, wait, 50, 52 on? It keeps going back and forth. So let's see, who do we have on tonight? We have Aaron, uh, James Aaron Smith on again with the wrench. Great. Yeah, thanks, James. Yep. Doing a great job of moderating. Put all, all of our links up there. Yeah. Hey, Terry. Welcome. Well, Brian. We got Rummage for Riches. I like that name. That's a cool name, huh? Very cool. Rummage for Riches. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like you guys have been on for a while, too. Some of you guys have been on for a long time. Brian Oaks, Haiti Hunter, how's it going? Well, it's Monday night, people. Monday night live. Yeah. This is this is a thing now. So this is the place to be. So it's kind of exciting. Look at lots more people are jumping on. Don't forget to like hit that like button too while you're on, if you wouldn't mind. And then also, if you have questions tonight, feel free to use the super chat. If there's anything urgent you want to share with us or you want us to share, we love getting your super chats. Um, what's, what do we have? What are some updates? What's new and exciting here? Well, my mom's on Judy Chestnut. Hey, Judy Chestnut. Hey, mom. Saw you earlier. Victoria. Hello from Houston. Love it. Emily's on from Oregon. That's awesome. Woohoo power. That's right. Yeah. Broken arrow. This Amber. Yeah. She's, uh, Amber, you're in Dublin, I think, right? Yeah. Like, they had a lot of outages too. She had power though. She did? Yeah, she didn't lose it. All right. We're the lucky ones. You we're are the lucky power. ones. Half of our street has not lost power. The, the, other, the first eight the houses. Half is. Yeah. So a uh, little background. We're up kind of near like open space. It's this Bollinger Hills. It's this really beautiful canyon, which is super cool. <laughs> but since we share the same power grid as um, all the open space, We've been out since Saturday night. We had no power until um, today about noon. We got it. And then mm -hmm. tonight or tomorrow morning early, we may have it off again, we may lose it again. for another couple of days. It makes it hard to uh, edit videos <laughs> with no power. Yeah. It's really, it just disrupts everything. So yeah. we haven't had too many videos out, but we've got some stuff in the works. Yeah. Um, I see Grimes Fines on. What's up? Hey, Justin. Justin. Proctor's Lockers. Hey, guys. Awesome. And I know What the Hills is on and Infamous George. So. Oh, my dad. Hey, dad. How's it going? Um, so we have 133 on, which is awesome. But yeah, so we haven't had um, power. So that's been kind of interesting. Today, I spent some time cleaning out the fridge. So anyone in the chat that's ever had their power off for a couple more days, let us know the longest you've ever had your power out. Because um, for us, like going on the third day, well, two and a half days, really, it was kind of like, oh, we take for granted a lot, huh? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Someone just put a post on next door tonight said, we feel like we're living in the old times, Yeah. but they like it because there's no internet and there's no TV. Yeah. So I said, it's little house in the prairie girls pretend like you're on little house in the prairie. We can see the stars outside. <laughs> yeah. I know a lot of people have asked, have, do we have a generator? And, um, you know, we don't, we don't but, uh, we've had people offer to loan us their generators. Both our dads. Yeah. But we, uh, we're fine. It's yeah. like, we just lost our power. This is such first world problem stuff. Um, we got a super chat. Who's oh, it from? Your from mama. my mom. Where are the little locker nuts? They just walked in the door five minutes before, 10 minutes before. They're upstairs doing homework. Eating and doing homework. They had basketball tryouts today for middle school's basketball. So yep. they both made the team. So they're totally exciting. Because she said, because she shed, it says four days was the longest, longest during an ice storm. Oh, wow. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Did that person just say three months had a tree smash my place in the summer storm? Oh my goodness. Three weeks. Three so weeks. we should stop so whining long. is what we really should do yeah. because a couple of days it's all is all perspective, nothing. right? It's like oh I was just gosh. texting with Manuel tonight. We're talking about something else. Everything's perspective. Yeah. You know, you just have to be thankful for what you have. That, that's so true. And, and we were thinking about that too. We had a really busy weekend with no power anyways. Yeah. And it was okay. Um, and then a few people on the chat have been asking about fires. So yeah. So there's been a lot of like smaller fires, one like 20 minutes away. But yesterday where our son lives really close, um, 
he lives in Benicia and Vallejo, they had a really big fire that just kind of went out and that's under control that we drove out there last night and we could actually see it across the water and it was kind of scary. Mm -hmm. Sonoma, really bad. That's only an hour away from us and that's been devastating. So many people have been evacuated. Yeah, that's a real shame because that is beautiful country. Yeah, yeah. That's a real, real shame. Uh, what the hills, Jeremy says, one and a half weeks with no power while running a 400 bed camp slash conference center. Oh, that, that's, <laughs> that's stress. How do you do that? I mean, like, honestly, you have to get so creative uh, with everything. So it's, it's good. Some of the kids, the boys that play video games all the time that live across the street, they were wandering around just looking lost. Grace is like, look how yeah. lost they look because they play video games all day. They were kind of wandering around out front. Like, I guess I'm going to go play basketball. Yep. <laughs> Michelle Lawing's on. Hey, Michelle. Yeah, she says if you want to purchase T-shirts, and then she gave the, the link, link for our Teespring. And we also have a new edition, Black Hoodie with Locker Nuts. Mm -hmm. Mine's on the way soon, right? It you is. It? It's not cheap, but it is the premium one. So we got, there's two levels. We got the nicer one because I think hoodies should be nice. Oh, look at Danny says, are you going to keep that white hat? It looked awesome on <laughs> It's already gone. <laughs> is it? Did you sell it? Is that what I call the Uncle Mike hat? Oh, nice. I love it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, Noreen was asking, is that is there a fire by nature or by man? I think the fires were all because of the weather related, right? No. Power well, lines? It's, well, it's man-made basically because of power lines. Yeah, power I lines. Think, well, we, they think it's pg e faulty equipment that our utility company. So, but they don't know for sure, but they're in, they're in some trouble. Yeah, they are. It's kind of a bummer. So everyone, and not only that, but we've had all these trees falling down right above our house. Um, we have open space and people have mm -hmm. property and a huge tree fell right across the back line of our property. Thank goodness oh, yeah. not on ours. I got a little video up. I might put up a little video tonight. What's uh, the video called, show. honey? You're going to give a hit? Lights out for locker nuts. Lights out for locker nuts. It's a mini video, right? Uh, yeah. Who thinks, he should, who, should, who thinks he should put out the video? Put it in the chat. I told him it's like a three minute video of everything. So if you think you should put it out, definitely comment below because I encouraged him to do that tonight. I think it'd be cool. So um, how far is Vanilla Rain wants to know how far is the fire away? The big ones, the um, big fire is an hour. Not even, a, yeah, just an hour. Yeah. And then the other one in, in Vallejo is like 30 minutes away. And mm -hmm. then there's a small one in Lafayette, which is a nice area, but that one's under control too. So look at everyone saying yes, please, honey. Put it out. Right, we'll put it out tonight. Yeah. So it looks like Jack heads floating. Floating. Oh, I, because I your beard. <laughs> <laughs> That's so totally funny, Justin. You're me. right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, who's in Bass Lake? Ronnie P. Ronnie P. I've been to Bass Lake. It's cool. Is that kind of like a roundabout towards the Pinecrest when we go there in the no. summer? No. Okay. It's down towards Fresno. Oh, it's Fresno. Okay. I'm in the wrong direction completely. It's a long drive for us. Yeah. So. Um, I saw that Brian Oaks here said congrats on selling the um, train lamp. So we'll talk about that too because we sold yes. that, that auction closed just a couple hours ago, I think. Someone asked about the church lady hats. Have we sold them yet? No. So some of them are gone, but the highest end ones we still have quite a few, right? We have a lot of hats, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have quite the collection. But this weekend's a big weekend for us because um, we're going to Alameda. So that'll be fun, right? It's, yes, yeah, antique market once per month. It's actually like world famous, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. because people travel in and uh, go to San Francisco and attend this market. It's a really big market. It's really incredible, and it's a lot of fun, a lot of money. We got a super chat from Trudy Stewart, $20. Wow, 20 bucks. Thanks, Trudy. Wow, Trudy. Glad wow. to see your powers back and sending you big hugs from Texas. Oh, thanks. We got friends in Texas. We like Texas, yes. We love it. We do. Yeah. Some of my best friends are from there. Hey, Storage Stalker's on. Hey, guys. What's up, Alex? Alex and Liz. Liz might be there, too. Just watching your guys' video earlier today. Okay. So, Victoria sent us a super chat and said for $9.99, so what happened to the marbles? I forgot that. The unit. Oh, that's from the Vintage Gamble unit. And uh, they're still out in the garage. I have some nicer stuff put aside. Did you that's one this? of the... Huh? Did you want to buy those? Does she collect marbles? I don't know. Victoria, do you collect marbles? Put that in the chat. For some reason, I thought I remember you saying you did. There's a lot of marbles in that can. That's the type of thing that really I need someone to look at and tell us if we have 
the big money mm -hmm. marbles. And Danny's saying, that'll help with all the food you've lost. So funny you say that, Danny, because mm -hmm. I literally was thinking that. Today I had to throw out the rest of our like stuff in the fridge and it made me so sad. It's the second time in two weeks. This time I kind of knew it was coming, so I stopped shopping a few days before and it was, it was so sad. It's so wasteful. I hate it. But perspective, like you said, you know, we're safe, so that's good. Yeah. So let's see. Um, let's see. Who wants to see Locker Nuts do another video with the East versus West Gang again? Type. Type, okay. Type exclamation point. Yeah. What if the hell? you want to see us. Starting some chat. Yes. Yeah. Everyone, chip it. We have 212 see. people on. What? 212. Yeah. Wow, so. Woohoo. There we go. I put my exclamation point in. You did? Of course. Okay. Awesome. So let's see. Brandy's from Texas. Hi, Brandy. Wow, we're going now. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Justin's premiering a video after this. So check that out, people. For sure. Oh, the super chat from Lynn. Oh, from Lynn. How's it going, Lynn? We love Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Hope you're feeling better. Okay. She let's says, see. Uh, hoping you stay safe from the fires. I finally made it, but need to rest. I am team locker nuts. You Aww, definitely are. Oh, Lynn. She's a big supporter of us. So sweet. She's so sweet. Um, let's see. Susan says, hit the thumbs up. Hit it. Yeah, I please. like it. I think I'll do that myself. Yeah, come on. Um, and then Adventures of the Hudsons is on. Hey guys. I need to like I need to do a thumbs up too. You do? I do. Okay. We need more. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what did we buy last week? Uh we yeah, what'd we, you get? Bought four units. You guys probably saw that video I put out. Four units in one day at one auction. This particular facility, which will will remain secret for now, because it's my new but favorite. Tell the story, because it's kind of funny. You almost went to a different locker auction yeah. that day. So this is a good story. So my friend Manuel turned us on to this facility. They have an auction once per month. You have to call and um, we well, I call and see if it's still on. I've done that three or four months now, and they always say, oh, no auction this month, no auction this month. So, okay, okay, okay. We were planning, or I was planning to go to another auction, a bigger one. And he calls me and he's and like, then I looked on the calendar. This. I looked on the calendar and said, oh, that other one's there. So I called them. Is it on? Yeah. What time? 11. And I looked at the clock. It was 1035. And I was like, oh, the other auction started 1130. So I thought, all right, I'm making a quarterback uh, call here. Yeah. We're just going to go. And um, I may potentially miss out on some good ones. There were some photos of some good ones at the other place. Went to this one. Great, great thing. They had 16 units. Apparently, they had never, uh, they hadn't had a uh, auction in one year for whatever reason it was. Uh, so they had 16 units in backlog. This never happens ever, and I've never even been there. So. And how many people were there? Uh, six. Six Five people besides me. Six people with six. No, you said didn't they do an extra one or something? 16 or 17 units. So it was like how? Many, so that's how you ended up buying four, right? About four. So, so how much did you pay for them? I paid my power's not on. Uh, paid one dollar, <laughs> which we saw in the other video. I paid 120 mm -hmm. for a couple suitcases. That was a gamble. And then I paid 50, which is the next which I cleaned that unit out today. That's the next video you'll see. And then 250. And I sneak peeked that one. It's a very large unit, 10 by 20. Very dusty. So because these had been sitting so long, um, they're all dusty. Every unit was dusty. Maureen says your, pati dusty. your patience is legendary. <laughs> yeah, thanks. When it comes to lockers, his patience is legendary. That is for sure. Mike always says that about you. That's so funny. Yeah. So that's cool. Storage Talker says that's awesome. Hi, Pat D's. Wes Damon said did a dumpster dive the other day at Staples and got over $200 worth of office stuff. That's pretty cool. That's nice. Yeah. Something out of nothing. So you have four lockers. We have, what, one left to go through. We have half of it here, one besides the stuff you have here, right? I have the just a big one left. All the other three are cleared out at this point. Um, and the big one, whew, it's big. So you want to tell them 10 what by you 20. found? And I already have another 10 by 20 that we bought the week before. Do you want to tell so, them what you brought home today? So today we brought home some stuff, and we bought – the reason why I bought the unit – well, two reasons. One is there's a big – jar of pennies right in the front and i just think anytime somebody leaves a bunch of money even if they're just pennies then uh that's a good sign that they didn't take all the good stuff but in the back there's a big metal 
lockbox, which looks like a, a uh, we won't say the word because YouTube doesn't like that. It looks like a fun safe, if you can uh, figure out what that means. Oh, fun and, safe. Uh, My dad's kind of favorite safes, yeah. 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 And we like fun safes. So we brought that home and tried to open it without ruining it. We haven't been too successful in that regard, mm -hmm. but we have it cracked open enough to look inside and it ain't empty. I'll just say that much. Yeah. It ain't empty. It's but we actually, had to get ready for tonight, so we had to. Yeah, I didn't have time for everything. Yeah. It's actually in the garage right now. We don't even know what's in it. We don't. We don't. So we have he's hopes. excited. Can I'm put, excited. Wait, can we tell him some of the stuff we found today? Can we? No. Yeah, well, we can see it on the video, but there's, there's a couple thing. What? Okay. Well, can you I tell him one thing? One thing. Have the, um, one, thing. I, one thing that I looked up that I thought was really cool was the um, the fly fishing stuff. Yeah. So we are on two different sets, and they're pretty cool. So they're really two nice. Two different sets, meaning two sets of Ro yeah. rods yeah. and the canisters. She looked up one, and it could be anywhere from $100 to $500. We we haven't literally went from not even done going through the stuff in here to do the live. So yeah, we have to research it more. But and there the other is, one's like 200 to 400 I saw. There's some money in there. This is yeah. a good locker. It's I was like, what? I haven't had a good locker in a while. I mean, a really good one. Yeah. The Vintage Gamble one was good. But uh, I've had definitely a bunch of mediocre or straight up turds. But <laughs> okay, and then so that's coming up then. And Danny May is asking when are she subscribed to you? When are you going to start doing videos? Danny, that is a very good question because I've actually had a few different ideas for doing um, videos, but it would not be walkers. So it'd be something totally different. But I have like 150 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, hey, subscribe to me if you want, Mrs. Locker Nuts. And I'm going to actually, I was, we've been, I've been kind of contemplating and rolling out some things on my little Mrs. Locker Nuts. And um, I'm going to do something, but I haven't decided what yet. So, I'm just kind of praying about it and thinking about it. So, yeah. So, yeah. She's got some ideas, especially with the real estate as angle, yeah. right? The aspect yeah. of yeah. real estate. She's got we'll some see. good ideas. I'm thinking, I have a couple different things I'm thinking about. So, we'll figure it out for sure. So, but thanks for asking. Um, let's see. What other, do we have any other? Pat D's is on. What's up, Pat D's? Yeah, I said hi to Pat. He was late. He said he wanted to know if he was going to get a timeout. So we said no. Not this time. No, definitely not this time. Okay. So let's see. We have 236 on, which is awesome. So do you want to share with them about, give them an update on the lantern? Sure. Let's do that. Because that's super cool. Last week, Jack shared the lantern that he found that was from the railroad. What? 1846 super cool super old so he decided to put it on the auction even though someone offered him originally what 350 yeah, they offered me after i put on auction. yeah they offered you 350 and then um 425 i guess so um, yeah they offered me 350 but it was already an active auction so i couldn't accept it or um i couldn't cancel it without getting ding basically on ebay it's just not cool to cancel an auction where someone's already bid on it. It yes. may have been him that bid on it. No, it wasn't him that bid on it. But then he said, well, if you can make it happen, I'll do 425. Um, maybe he's a viewer. I don't even know. But here's our sale price. We, we did, the auction did close today. And let's see that. For, oh yeah, boom. $381. Yeah. Pretty good, right? That's awesome, right? Everyone, $381. So he had offered $350. That was a very fair offer. Yeah, I mean, you were going to take it. Usually we get low balls and yeah. kind of ridiculous offers on eBay. But that was a very fair offer of him. I don't think he really wanted to mess around. He's actually the one who wound up buying it. So yeah. when he upped it to $425, he got it for $381. So I'm happy. He paid a little more than his original offer, but not as much as it was his limit. So um, good for him. Good for us. We're happy. I hope he's happy, too. He's going to get it. Very soon. Apparently, he has a um, room in his house that has a whole railroad set up. And he has serious? a shelf with one little spot left. He was looking for one more item oh, to go. Oh, that's there. awesome. Pretty oh, I cool. See, I see Lawrence is on. Hey, Lawrence. Um, Yeah. What's that, up, Lawrence? And then also someone gave a NFL update. I think it's the Dolphins and the Steelers. I think it was like. Are they playing? Yeah. So, well, okay. neither one of those teams. My money's on the Steelers. Right? <laughs> Why do you say that, honey? <laughs> uh, magnet fishing. Look at that. What's that? Oh, Not that I like that's her name. Is it Hans Aussie Magnet Fishing? We're going to try that. I just saw Magnet Fishing. We need to try that, right? Yeah, for sure. We're definitely going to try that. I saw that pop up and I was like, you know what? We definitely need to 
try that. So pretty soon tonight we have oh, yeah. another auction this is coming cool. up. We did the lantern that was went up earlier in the day, and then we also have that tin type, that old photograph of the Civil War soldier. So that is still up for auction right now, and uh, closes in twenty four minutes. So we'll we'll circle back to this when we get closer. One hundred and twenty seven dollars. So not not super happy with that one because uh, those could sell for like upwards of four to five hundred bucks. So I was hoping for a little more. We'll see. Yeah, and the cool thing about that is there's still like what 15, 20 minutes for people to bid on that. So sometimes a lot of people wait till the last time, right? Yeah. So I mean that's cool, right? So let's see. Um, what else do we have in here? Um all got right. some stupid idiot in here. So okay, Wait, let's see. John says up. locker nuts, you have items going up for auction oh, in November, yeah. don't you? At the auction house on the military base. Yes, John, we do at Michon's, which is at the naval base, right? Yeah. In Alameda. And funny enough, Michon's auction house is literally right next to where we're going this weekend for the oh, yeah. Alameda fair. So, yeah, it's on the same naval base. Yeah. The fairgrounds are, I mean, not fairgrounds, the uh, the market grounds are huge. Yeah. Huge. And then right next to you see the big shipping containers. We'll try to get good footage. Last time we did, last Let's time was that. our first time. It's early morning, and we like were like in the overwhelmed. Morning. We didn't know where we we're going. We were trying to get in the routine. Um, we figured it out. But yeah, well, and also you can see the city right across from it too, which is kind of cool. Um, so you see San Francisco, and Kelly is um, from on from Wisconsin, and she said she loves our show. Thanks, Kelly. We love you too. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah. Um, uh, Nick just asked, can you please put a link to your eBay auction on there? Can you do that for everyone? Sure. He I'm says, sure. In the middle of a live, but sure. He's in the middle of a live, but he's going to do that for uh, you. The eBay auction? EBay yeah, auction? the auction link. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's more than right happy here. to do that. Right? Mm hmm. Thanks, Crocker Lockers, for being the moderator, yeah. taking care of some of the and Leah, comments that are coming in um, here. Leah is late, but she says, hello, Jack and Jana. Hi, Leah. Welcome. So glad you're here. We're at 262. I'd really like to get to 300 tonight. Can we get to 300? That'd be awesome. Um, and Glenn wants to know, he's still waiting for you to find him some kilts. We yeah. Have, have we ever found Never. any? I don't think we have. We will. My best friend's Scottish, and they're totally into that, and I love the kilts, so it'd be cool to find those. Mm. I, I, don't, I had a Scottish wedding. Did you not know that? I've never seen them wearing kilts, but if you're very... Yeah, their whole family, they're really into the Scottish cool. game. So is your mom. She goes to that, too, which is fun. So, yeah. They Jarvis got... Sensei says, hi, Larkinets from Devon, England. Well, that's awesome. So we cool. love it. Yeah. And then Dave is watching daily from Vermont. And he says he enjoys us both. Nice. Okay, so in the chat right now, if anyone... Let's just do a little question time where we have a minute. So if anyone has any questions for Jack or myself, it could be locker related or family related or anything related, um, feel free to put it below. You don't have to super chat it, but if you want to, hey, that's your prerogative. And we'd love to answer a few questions for you guys. Um, let's see. Oh, look at this. Robert says, when I get off work, I always watch your channel. Oh, that's so cool. We love that, right? Lynn, I hope you feel better. Take care. So much. Um, we got Becky from Illinois. We have so many people from all different states. It's so cool. Hello, Mama G. And let's see. I never miss your Monday Night Live. Um, oh, that's my. Oh my gosh, my wife always waits to see if you mention my name. It's funny. Okay, Wes, Wes, Wes. I mentioned it three times, so now your wife can see we said it three <laughs> times. So, oh, Borderline Hornish is on. Hello. All right. Do we have any questions coming in? We got, we loved our content. Oh, wait, someone just had a question here. I'm going to run out of power here. So I got to figure something out. Oh, I have a charger, but can you see if it's plugged in? Sure. Because we will not make it the hour. Well, that would be bad. Yes, it Let would. Me check. It's plugged in, but something's, something's not right. All right. Borderline Hoarders. Hey, Kimberly, how's it going? Shirley Paisley, born in Bay Area girl, now in Texas. Yeah, we have a lot of friends that are <laughs> either moved or considering moving to Texas. 
Just because it's gotten so expensive here. Which line is it that needs to be plugged in? It's this right here. It's the power line. Just go to a charger, yeah. All right. Damon Water says, love how you skip the boring boxes. Thanks, Damon. It's, um, you know, from when I first started making the videos, that's one thing that I try to do is I, I watched a lot of other guys' videos, and I try to make the videos that I would like watching. And more recently, it's getting harder to do that just because we, we're trying to get videos out every day. We're not always successful in that, but we try to get them out every day because we, we know that that's what a lot of people want. But um, It's on. Let's plug in. Yeah, I like to I like to edit. Oh, there we go. Finally, thank you. Was it up over there? Uh, it was needed a little bit. Oh, okay. I think it might have got pulled out. So now I'm back. Yeah. Hey, so just... the editing does take a long time, but um, you know that's the kind of videos that I like to watch. Well, here's a question, because she said uh, she shed said if you could go on a treasure hunt with anyone living or dead, where would you go and what would you hunt for? Ooh, I'll let you answer that one. <laughs> I don't really know my history enough, but I mean, there's some guys that have looked for like gold down in South America. That seems to be like that would that be that show you watch. Well, yeah, those, yeah. yeah, I don't know if I'd want to go with those guys, but <laughs> I mean, some of the guys, I mean, there's, there's, for example, some of the presidents that came before going on these hunting trips in Africa. Those guys are some legit guys to go out before like we had cell phones and like call for help i'm out of gas these guys would just go out in the jungle blazing trails and hunting animals that kill you this that's very impressive and i think i would definitely like to tag along for one of those okay um, jj super chat thank you jj 299 love the channel yard sales during the winter you we, betcha we did a you did betcha year last year november we did one mm -mm, last year January. in november too right I don't At his mom's, that. we've done a few during the winter. Hey, January no, though. The winter here is like sometimes in November and December, it'll be 72 degrees and sunny. So it's a little cool, but it's beautiful. So, hey, if the weather's good, we're going for it. Yeah. As long as it's not raining. Yeah. The cold we can deal with. But we did one in January and it was like a really good sale. We sold a lot. There's nobody else Tons. doing it. Yeah. People were jonesing for a garage sale and we were the only ones out. Yeah. So you said you would go for gold. And um, it would be. You maybe should have answered some... that and put her on the. Oh my gosh. Our daughter, our daughter is funny. FaceTiming us. She's, that would have been funny. It would have been hilarious, um, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. She's I so hear funny. a little locker nut running around up there. She ran up. Oh, look at who's on. Um, is the Jeebus family on? It says, hey, Jeebus family. Hey, Jeebuses. If you're on, hello. I missed that. Because I looked away for a minute with my daughter FaceTiming us. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. The Jeebus family. Hello, everyone. Hey, guys. How's it going? Welcome. So, that um, Borderline Hoarder says it snowed four inches and it's going to snow another six tomorrow. Wow. Dang. Sorry. Wow. That makes it a lot tougher. We did not have snow. Okay. Valerie said you're one of my two favorite storage buyers. Hello That's from awesome. Florida. That's so sweet. Thanks, Valerie. I love Who's all Who's the other one? <laughs> Don't put her on the spot. What? Okay, someone asked how you met and how long have you been married? So I'll answer that one. So um, we'll be married 14 years in February. And um, we met through friends. One of my really good friends um, worked with Jack and they were friends and mutual. And they said, hey, you guys should meet. And then we kind of met a couple times and then they kind of set up a scenario where we were both helping them move and um, got to know each other. And then we, they took us out to dinner to thank us. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. They're like, Oh, we want to thank you guys for helping us move. And then um, he got enough courage to ask me out on a date after that. And then um, he came and picked me up and he had a, it was so cute. His car was like super clean. He had a Lexus and he brought me a bottle of water. He like had it all like, you know, concierge service. He had each a bottle of water for each of us. And um, I was like, oh, he's so polite. And then um, we went to uh, dinner at this really cool restaurant actually in San Ramon. And it no longer exists. Yeah. It was amazing. It's called Muds. Yeah. I was like, 
all organic food and like they would farm it locally from their um, local gardens. And it was really cool, but he got in trouble for taxes. So he had, remember he didn't pay his taxes, the state. He didn't pay so his they, payroll taxes yeah, or something. Yeah, so had to I think the state like came in and just seized his account mm -hmm. and he lost the ability to pay his employees or his vendors and yeah, out of business overnight, which is a real shame. The place looked like a hobbit hole before mm -hmm. the hobbit even came out. Like the inside, yeah, it was it, beautiful. It was like domed. All the different rooms all had domed. It was all wood on the yeah. ceilings. It was just an amazing place, and yeah. the food was incredible. And then we went to the movies in San Ramon. We literally had our date one mile from where we live now. That's funny. We did, which is kind of cool. Yeah. It um, is. So that's kind of funny. We have a super chat though from Hope. Saying a dollar ninety nine, not charging for questions. <laughs> no, we're not charging for questions. No, so. It just says we have two hundred ninety seven people on. So <gasps> I wanted three hundred. We're so close, goes people. Pretty quick. So the super chats we definitely noticed. Some of the other ones, yeah, they do slip by. Sorry guys, but they do. Yeah, and we apologize for that. So that was um, the answer to the question. <laughs> was there any other awesome questions? If you have Alexis, and buy another one. Do you now have Alexi? We don't have Alexis anymore because. But if we did. We would have, yeah. Maybe that is appropriate. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Lexi. But we do love, we did love that car. It was mm -hmm. a great car. It was a great car. I got a speeding ticket in that car, though. Mm -hmm. It was a fun car to drive. It was all right. It was just sporty and yeah, cute. It was a little IS300, the little one that competes with the BMW 3 Series. It was a good little car. Leah's asking a question. When and how did you know the other person was the one? I'm going to let you answer that, honey. Um... <laughs> Yes. I mean, I knew pretty early on, and really, let me put it this way. I didn't really understand why she would go out with me, but I knew that I was going to try everything in my power to try to get her to, and just meaning like not being shy and, and trying to be outgoing and asking her out and telling her my feelings or whatever, because I just knew like this is too important not to be 100% in, and um it worked <laughs> <laughs> to my surprise. That's funny, honey. That's cute. I like that. So Grace, you want to say hi? Well, hi. People were asking where are the little locker nuts? I'm right here. So yeah. People. People. Meaning grandma. Mimi. <laughs> Mimi. Mimi. Hey, no, a few other people in the Someone chat. Said oh yeah. Cute. Aw, that's sweet. <laughs> she said, Oh, hi, pretty princess. Oh, that's so nice. Thanks, Victoria. That's very sweet. So I think someone asked, Grace, when are you going to be going through lockers with your dad again? That's a good question. Dad. Yeah, someone's asking. Yeah, honey, isn't there a locker dad ask you to go through? Um, Tell them the story about grandma and grandpa's house. You name it. Uh, there's a chance that they might not go to school today because of the power outages. Mm -hmm. So we were prepared. So they, she was saying, I want to go to grandma and grandpa's house. I said, that's fine as long as we name the locker I just bought grandma and grandpa's house. So. Every time you say I want to go to Grandma and Grandpa's house, that just means we're going to the locker to go digging. It was super she didn't funny. Like it though. She, she didn't did think not. It was funny. My parents just got a puppy, and oh, Susan said she's my mini me. That's sweet. <laughs> um, and my parents just got a really cute puppy, so the girls are like, "Let's go see the puppy." And my parents, of course, but you know, that's so funny. Okay. Let's see. Um, have you got twins from Australia? Okay. Oh, I'm dressing up for Halloween. Did someone ask you that? Yeah. What are you going to be telling? Because this is kind of oh, funny. Okay. I'm going to be like an 80s like uh, person with like leg warmers and like neon clothes. Like and, mesh gloves. Right? Yeah. And like gloves and stuff. She's basically what we were. Well, with scrunchies and stuff. Scrunchies. Scrunchies are back in, people. Yeah. They were back in when I was in junior high and high school, but now they're back in again. Yeah. Leah says, you guys are such a sweet couple. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Thanks, Lee. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. <laughs> and jungle. Um, okay, that's so funny. All right, so if anyone else has any other questions, let us know. We'll answer them. Did we miss any questions? 80s, look at that. Rock those neon <laughs> colors. That's exactly right. Everything we got for our costume is totally neon. So that's super cool. <laughs> oh yeah i didn't yeah thank you thank you justin oh we're over 300 we have 310 nice yes let's go 350 now <laughs> just update on the tin type the price has not moved it's still at 127 oh come on focus there it goes well mm. oh grandma's in the chat Grace. all right well anyways it's 127 still <laughs> say hi and then in the chat say hi to me nine minutes left hi, mm. yeah 
Yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't see, but there's grandma. Oh, you got my hair. Oh, I just hurt my toe. Sorry. You can't hurt your toe. You're playing <laughs> basketball. Don't, no injuries allowed. Wendy just said hi from Alabama. You, you're, you're squishing me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, yeah, that's a great idea, Roger. She should do big hair. We didn't, we were either going to do a side ponytail, but maybe, I should get bangs. No, you should have your mom's hairstyle. With like the like uh where you like brush it and it goes like all poofy and stuff. Okay, like from uh what is it called? Full house. Full house, yes, that is true. She had, like, the so Shannon Thomas Osborne's asking what's happening with your pieces at the auction house. So last week on the live we did have the first batch get auctioned off, the lower end pieces. Mm -hmm. So I forget the prices, but you can go back and look at that. But the, the higher end ones come up in November. So that's gonna be probably what two weeks, I think. Yeah. Two weeks mm -hmm. on a Wednesday. And we're going to try to attend that. We said that last time, but we'll try to attend that and get some footage of how that goes. This is, that's going to be exciting. Oh, totally. What was it like the first week? I think yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's someone it. said, hi, Jack. Love from people from everywhere. Sometimes she just does not give us cred. We don't get street cred, honey. No. From the youngins. She, she said that she will be impressed when we get a million views on the video. No, no. Oh, yeah. No, that's what you said. Right? A million views. Otherwise, mm -mm. What's the most views we have on any or video? On trending. Over 400,000 on the boat one. Is that anything? 400,000? Does that get any credit? <laughs> Just kidding. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Good. Really? Let's Just see. Um, crimping is the 90s or the 80s. I think crimping's 90s. Okay. Jocelyn says she really enjoys watching us. Dieter Hater. That's a cool name. Said, found any evidence in a locker that you turned over that helped solve a crime? The only time I've ever tur turned over any one. This is funny. I the, like that question. The only time as a, I can't I even say know. it on YouTube apparently, but it was a, if you know what I mean. And <laughs> I found that in the locker and it looked very suspicious because it was covered up with a flannel shirt and a ski mask. Oh like a full on black right. ski mask with the eyes in the mouth cut, cut out, you know, the holes. It looks so suspicious, and I just I had to call the cops because I didn't want to get caught with that and uh, have it been used in the crime. They took it away. It turns out it was not registered by the guy on the locker, which is maybe a little bit more suspicious, maybe not. But um, I didn't get that back. They took it and they didn't give it back to me. They destroyed it. Or but they said know. they were going to give it back to you, right? And when they took it, they said I they I get it back if it cleared their investigation and. Uh, then when I called, they said, they told you okay. what? The officer told you what? They're like, no, you don't get it back. Yeah. Uh, no, we don't, you don't get that. You don't, you can't register it unless it's transferred to you from the prior owner, which turns out that wasn't correct. There is another process, but um, yeah, that was the only time we ever turned anything over. The only time we found anything that was that suspicious, really. Yeah. We have 302 in right now. So I'm loving the over 300. I'd love to get 350. I just like, okay. So someone was just asking us, Wes, I think was asking us, how long did it take for you to get subscribers up when you started doing videos? He's thinking about doing them himself. Well, we're coming up, I think on two years now doing videos on the channel and very slow start in the beginning. Um, we just hit a thousand subscribers this year in April yeah, and then 2000 in May, which was during our big East versus West collaboration. Yeah. We hit 2000. So obviously it's gone a lot faster since then, mm -hmm. but it took a long time to get started. And a lot of people do say that it's harder to get to the first thousand, like getting there's harder than whatever, you know, getting to the next threshold, whatever that is. The first thousand is very difficult. Once yeah. you can hit it, then it goes a lot faster. There's a lot of work though. Well, I think um, once we uh, did the whole collaboration, that gave us a lot of momentum. Um, oh, don't you think? Look so, at all the thumbs up. Oh, Susan, I love that. Um, so that was huge for us, I think. So that was that was kind of a that was the turning point, don't you think? Yeah. Well, yeah, it was on a it was on a good roll before that, but definitely picked up before the collab. Yeah. Okay. So we have a thousand in May and then in April uh, and then 2000 in May. And then, uh, now we have, 20, how many do we have as of today? honey? cause I know you keep track. I don't know. 28,400. Yeah. Just hit that today. 28,400. Danny says you're almost at 30. We are so excited to hit 30,000 people. 
So share with your friends because we really want to hit 30,000. <laughs> we do. Yeah, it would cool. be awesome. It's more important to us to make videos that get viewed because we yeah. want to make stuff that people enjoy watching. And that's going to be shown by how many views we get. To us, that's more important than subscribers. We want to put out good stuff. Mm -hmm. It's hard. It's hard it's to put equally, out good stuff. equally important, I'd say. But I would say that... Um, uh, I want to put out stuff that people enjoy watching. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's very hard when we're also going to auctions and buying them, cleaning them out, which is sometimes very physically demanding, and selling them, which takes a lot of time. Someone yeah. said I'm going to be a Valley Girl for it. Yeah, Valley Girl is perfect. Someone also asked um, oh. how, how you proposed to me. Um, well, it was in San Francisco. Can you say hi to everyone? He's working. Oh, he's on a call. He's Our son's working. He's on a conference we call. Got, we got to be quiet. He's on a call. <laughs> Let's keep it down. <laughs> we'll talk quieter. He's on a conference call. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh I used to, I lived in San Francisco for a very brief uh, period of time when I was younger, and I loved the city. And so, oh, to sure. propose to her, I wanted to go to San Francisco. I had not any like concrete plans for the proposal, but I had a nice ring. And um, <laughs> you had to and, we uh, had to reset it though, remember? Because it was like okay, not but, the original or something. That but like, we went to uh, Union Square, which is a very famous part of San Francisco, and it was like closed because I think they're building the ice rink that they do every year. And Proposed when was it November 17th? 18th. All right, yeah, this would be 18th. Everything happened to us on the 18th. Our lucky number, yeah. And uh, so that didn't work out. So went to Palace of Fine Arts, and I forget what was going on there. Construction there too. Okay, the Palace of Fine Arts, they were working on the remodel. Yeah. So you so this is the thing we went out to this fancy restaurant, the one that's closed. What's it called again? Carnelian Room. Carnelian Room. Went there. He walks me over to the Palace of Fine Arts and he's like, uh, he kind of looks super stressed at that point. He's like, "Oh, we're gonna go somewhere else now." So then we went somewhere else, and it was. Well, we uh, went to another spot that yeah. not many people know about, said that's and uh, it's historic. That's right. It's like it has some significance to the fires, um, <laughs> the 1907 earthquake and fires. So uh, this is pretty cool. So I had a good spot, yeah. beautiful view near the on the water almost, and uh, it was nice. Yeah, I think it was nice. Yeah, it was. Someone asked how many kids we have. Five. 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 25, 22, 19, 13, going on 20, and 11, almost 12. So five. Yeah. So. Oh, Doc, Down South Treasures got married November 18th of last year. That's Aww, awesome. Congratulations. Congrats. You're almost at your one-year anniversary. Oh, the pirate's on. Hey, what's up, Mike? So Jill says, Jack, you make the best videos. Jana, I love you Thank going you. through the hats. So much fun. Thank you. I've had like, we've had tons of comments. I, I saw the other day, people were like, oh, it was so fun watching you go through the church hats. are fun. In, yeah. <laughs> for, this time I didn't find that much gold, but it, I mean, we found gold and church hats together twice in a row now. I'm going to be buying more church hats. Yeah. Uh, Leah Lynch said, I see rude comments from time to time on your vlogs, which is nothing new in the YouTube world. <laughs> it's all part of it, but it makes me feel bad. What advice do you have for people considering starting a channel of their own? That's a, I think that's a great comment and question because yeah. we were given advice on this by some of the other guys like what the hails by Mike, the storage auction pirate. They were telling us basically before it even began, they are just told us be prepared and they're going to, it's going to be a rough ride. Some of the comments will be vicious and they have been, but luckily we had people that have been through this before, uh, kind of preparing us and giving us that, uh, you know, the, uh, giving us that set of eyes really. So we knew it was coming and uh, it still doesn't know, totally prepare the blow a little. You. Okay, so I'll be honest. <laughs> the first time I had um, it was just one video. We noticed certain videos trigger trigger certain things. So there was one video I was on where I got like a couple bad comments, and I like the first time I really took it to heart, and it, like really upset me. Um, and then since then I really haven't had too many, but for some reason that video set it off. And then when Jack gets negative. He's actually gets more upset than I do. I'm always more. Yeah, yeah. You do. So just because I sometimes respond to people doesn't mean I get upset. I just try to kill them with kindness. I'm like, thank you for your blah, blah, blah. Or I just delete it if it's not appropriate. Mm -hmm. So, but um, you, Jack just puts a lot of work into it. So I think sometimes it's just hard when people are like, 
criticizing and critiquing so much. And the one thing I think we both have really realized is like, wow, I can't believe how free, like the things people write, I would never say to anyone ever. I would not even say them to someone I like knew or didn't like, but someone I liked, I just, it's shocking to me, right? What people yeah. say and yeah. how much um, time people spend like on kind of like negative things. I mean, opinions are fine and everyone has them. That's great. But I think, um, you know, that's the thing that is just kind of a little weird. But, um, and I know Jack, you know, because he's putting so much time to it, it's kind of hard. Crocker's Lockers is asking, rude comments hurt, would love advice. And um, so the advice I would give yeah. you is um, just block them. Block their butt. Block out the haters. Like, I have zero tolerance. And she thinks I'm overly blocky. And if anyone's... Like if you're going to be showing negativity, boom, you block. Because my opinion is I spent three to four hours editing this 20 minute video, not including the time of filming it and all the work that goes into it. Just to edit it three to four hours. If someone leaves a comment and all they have is something negative to say, that's it. Block. So the comments don't get, their yeah. comments don't get read anymore. Sorry, but we don't really have space for negativity. That leads to um, the next question. Someone wants to know if we ever argue about things or disagree about things that we find. Yeah, all the time. Bye. Not argue, bye. argue. Hey, wait. She's leaving. Bye. Uh, bye, sweetie. She asked something. Okay, so what um, What do we argue Wait, about for the negativity? Uh, you want to throw stuff away and I want to keep it. No, I don't want to throw it away. That's so true. You want to no. sell it and I want to keep uh -uh. it. Yes, correction. There's an argument now. So I want to donate it or sell it. I am not a person that keeps things. I'm super sentimental. Like I literally have 10 totes of my kids stuff. Um, but it takes something kind of cool or special. Now I appreciate it. I love antiques. Love, 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 love antiques. I love old things and I admire them and I think they're cool. But to me, um, I just want to live a simplified life, but I really value and love it. I mean, it's super fun. I mean, we find cool things. So. Mike, the storage auction pirate song. I said, what? hi to him earlier. Up, Mike? Oh, I didn't even hear that. It's okay. What's up, Mike? Thanks for being here. We got a super chat for $1.99. Nick Draper, $1.99. And he says, Hale's got married. Joke. And then someone else, I think it was Dan. He said that um, Crocker's Lockers mentioned us in their video today. Oh, I oh, saw no, wait. that. Was it Crocker's Lockers or someone no, else? No, no, no. It was. Now they're uh, going to have to mention us because we just said they mentioned. It's getting uh, blurry a little, huh? Does anyone else see blurriness? Yeah, it's getting a little blurry. Yeah. Okay. Who was it that mentioned us? Sorry, Crocker's Lockers. But hey, now you have to mention us because I just said you mentioned <laughs> us. Was, uh, it was Hudson's. Is that it? Was it? Adventures with the Hudson's. Okay. Mentioned us apparently, so I'll have to watch that. Yeah, we will. Thank you, guys. We appreciate the love. Yeah, they have great videos, too. Yeah, that's They have awesome. a lot of fun, those guys. Yeah, they do. Um, oh, see what the hell says. Don't give any time, attention, or energy to negative people. Yep. Give it all to the pe positive people. They deserve it. That I couldn't say it better. Absolutely. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. That is really, really good. Did you have any other questions in there that you saw? There's a lot. Hey, Glenn. That's awesome. Thanks for being on. We have 330. I wanted 350. We're at 331. Mm. 331. Oh, man. Come on. That's awesome. Shoot. We're going to do a countdown on that uh -oh. stinking thing in its soul. Oh. All right. Well, you know what? Mm. Let's give everyone an update. What did it sell for? $127.50. Okay. We can't want them all, babe. No. Can't want them all. Mm. All right. Well, uh, I was hoping for $400. But at least the lamp sold for more than I originally thought. Look at that. I like that comment. Charlize their own. <laughs> Catherine Kaufman says, Jack, your wife looks just like movie star. Uh, Charlize their own. I'll take that. That's very nice. Thank you, Catherine. Me. So, <laughs> me, what? She she's younger than you? Yeah, she is. Totally. Mm, right. That's fun. So I'll take it. I'll take that. So, cutest couple Marines. So, says. someone said you look like, if they said I look like, uh, what's his face? Oh. Tom Cruise. Then I should take that not so complimentary because he's older than me. 
I don't know. He's a handsome guy, I guess. Well, right? I like, well, he's all right. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's not like you. Man. He's not like you. He's a cuckoo. I mean, he's not like you. He's not that good looking. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. I wouldn't make any money because I'm always wanting to keep it, Laura. I get it. I mean, that's what makes this work. He likes to keep things. He does what he calls no. he does what he calls an upgrade program. That's right. Let me explain to everyone Jack's upgrade program. So if he gets a toolbox that's nicer than the toolbox he has, if he gets a wrench or a hammer or a gun or a drill, and they are nicer than the current ones he has, what he does is he replaces the older one and sometimes sells the other one. I know he tries to sneak them in and just keep both, uh, but that's his replacement program. Do that. You do do that. No. You do. Yeah. No. Yeah. And he loves to keep his little things. He has a very organized tool area. <laughs> not, so, not anymore. Well, not as much. Everything's junk out there now. He likes tools. But you know what? I grew up with a dad that had tons of tools. And I used to organize the garage for him. So um, I get it. I mean, it makes him happy. I don't care. He can have it. The Hudsons need more viewers. Cool. Nancy. That's awesome. Let's see. The uh, Hudsons. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nancy Stone said the Hudson's need more viewers. Yeah. If one of you guys, if one of our moderators has their link and wants to put it in there. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. They're doing some good stuff. Ghost Pirate says, I'm very disorganized. <laughs> oh, look at we got a super chat. Wow. From Mike the Storage Auction Pirate. 299. Thanks, Mike. Shout out to the 49ers. <laughs> Say Best team in the NFL. Seven and oh. That is uh it's impressive, I'm it's not gonna pretty, lie. Yeah. They're doing really well. And they're not just beating the teams, but they're, they're slaughtering them. the teams. Good teams. Yeah. We know this, Mike, because our boys are like, and our dads are super crazy about the 49ers. So we got it. Yeah. Tim says you look like Yukon Jack. <laughs> Is that from the show you watch, right? No. Is there a Yukon Jack? Uh -huh. You Jack's super into the gold rush. Does anyone here ever watch the, what are those gold rush shows called? Um, Gold Rush. Gold Rush. Jack's so into that. I mean, oh my goodness. Anything of gold. He loves gold. So I think that someday, um, uh, someday he's going to have to find a lot of gold because gold's kind of his calling. Don't you think? I don't know. It is something about, they say gold fever. And since I've been handling more and more gold, it's definitely, there's something to that. There is truth to that. Yukon gold. So he's super into, he's a Yukon gold's one. a good one too. Yeah. Yeah. He's kind of in. Bering Sea Gold. That's probably my that's, favorite right now. Yeah. I think because Mike Rowe does the commentary. We like Mike Rowe. He's cool. Um, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Did you read what, um, the one dusty old dude wrote? That's so funny. Every storage locker buyer I see has such pretty women. I wonder if this ugly old man could get one if I started buying lockers. <laughs> I don't know. I met her before and bought lockers. So that kind of uh, that's so squashes funny. that. Uh, but that's a, okay. Uh, Danny says she likes your pinky ring. Oh, Sorry. Thank you. That, Sorry make, that makes one of you. <laughs> <laughs> that, okay. There's another what? thing you keep and collect. When, yes. I mean, let's just talk about jewelry. So when he finds things, he likes to keep, this is a locker fine. Third time locker. Third time locker, which is and sentimental. This? I get it. Do you remember what locker you got that out of? Yes. Which one? It's from the pirate games. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is uh, my trophy to myself for winning the Pirate Games. And also, if someone wants that ring, games. who wants that ring? Alex. Alex. So Alex storage Stalker, he covets Jack's ring. And storage Scott wants to buy this. You're not going to sell it, though. No. Nah. You thinking about it? No. Okay. So what do we have? But if I did, I'd sell it to him. You would? Yeah, of course. That's nice. Um, someone said you're a good match. Love you guys. Oh, thank you. Thank we have you. 326. This is a new record. Yahoo! Okay. Um, Brian wants to know if you ever watch any of the metal detecting channels. They find lots of silver and gold. My dad was just telling us about one. What was the one he was saying? I I don't know. It was underwater. Remember, my dad was telling us, oh, yeah. he watches this show. I haven't seen it where they go, um, like scuba diving in yeah. the areas where people go like walk like in boats and stuff and he finds tons of things. We need to find that channel because it looks cool. Um, um but there's um I know there's a lot of fake channels out there that do the metal detecting. Oh there's look a lot at that. of fake ones. Mike just said he wants the bracelet and oh, Scott really? needs to get in line. <laughs> well Mike gets seniority Sorry, over Scott, Scott for yeah. sure. 
Yeah. Hopefully Scott's not watching this because this... Sheila wants Sorry, to know Scott. if I was You're a out. cheerleader in high school. That's hilarious. Okay, I wasn't, but I have five kids that have played a lot of sports and I coach. So I get super like, come on. So that would kind of make me a cheerleader, right? Sure. As I coach? Sure. Yeah. So I'm into that for sure. So let's see. Mike can afford his own bracelet because she said. <laughs> I didn't that. say I was giving it to him. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, Michelle, so they were asking for Adventures with the Hudsons. If you know that one, if you know that link. Oh, okay. Let's share that because they're good guys. Yeah, for sure. They're having a ball. Jack, you're the best. Someone just said. Thank you. Oh. That's so sweet. Okay, so let's see. Do we have any other questions in the chat? These have been good questions tonight, you guys. I love them. Um, James, they're saying Jack would like metal detecting World War II battlegrounds. That That'd would be, be so awesome. super cool. That would be really cool. So I mentioned a couple times that I did buy a locker the week before. It's a 10 by 20. It's huge. Not to give too much of a spoiler, you guys, but there is a metal detector in there. There is? There's at least one. Oh, well, then we're going to have to use it. Should yeah, we use it? Sure. Put it in the chat if you want to see us do a metal detecting video. Yeah, I've never found one. I've never even Just put used yes, one. Yes, or should we put yes in the chat? Put yes. I think that would be really fun, actually, right? Where's the next good auction at? Mike's asking. I don't think there's one till Friday next week. Next week? Wow. What's today? Today's Monday, honey. No, Friday. Yeah. I don't even remember what day it is. Have you thought about buying a Friday, box Mike, truck? You're gonna want to go flipping the loo. Has it? Have you thought about buying a box truck and getting rid of the trailer? Like every week, right? Have you thought about that? <laughs> getting rid of the trailer? Oh yeah, especially with the rain coming. That's definitely been a topic. I actually sent an email message, uh, Facebook message, someone selling a van the other day. But um, I'm just cheapo. The trailer yes. was $1,100. I can't beat that. And it makes me want to put the tarp on it and strap it down. What the hills just said, Drew Carey just happened to be at the auction and wanted George's autograph. For real? That was heck of cool. No. Are you what serious? What is Drew Carey doing there? Jeremy, come on. Are you serious? That's awesome. I hope that's going to be in a video soon. Yes, because that would be super fun. Mike's saying there's an auction tomorrow. Oh. Hmm. 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 What? What well, are you reading? I have a big unit to clean her up. You do. Unless Don't. I rent it. Oh, my gosh. Here we go again. This is what he says when he doesn't want to clean out a big unit. No, I want to clean it out. I can rent it out. I just hate missing the auctions. Um, okay, someone, Nancy, said check out Nicole White. Love Larkin. Okay, I'll check that out for sure. Brenda's saying the air quality will keep some buyers away Friday. I don't know, Brenda. I don't know. So this one, this, should I say it? This auction on Friday is the one that last ah. month someone bought and and got a hundred thousand dollars in gold. And you guys probably saw that video we put out because we're the only guys that have the actual footage of what that unit looked like. Even though we didn't see the gold coming out, those guys didn't want us filming anything. But um, we filmed it before it was What's auctioned. What's the name off. of that video? It's on. Uh, someone bought a hundred thousand dollars in gold or something like that. Yeah. Okay. I bid on that locker. She bid on it. I bid on it. But. <laughs> It doesn't matter. <laughs> Only matters if we got it and we didn't. So, and on it, but not enough. Uh, yeah, that's the one. So Friday's the next time. Of course, it's not going to happen again like that, but there'll be a lot of people there. There'll be oh, a lot of sure. excitement, I think. I mean, you knew when we were cleaning out the locker and you can hear um, from the building away, someone going <gasps> and screaming. You knew something. Do you good. see what this says? What does it say? Mike says you guys will never believe what i found today again what the heck mike he's mike, on a roll mike you are i we're just gonna follow you around we'll start calling him mr gold i know everything he touches gold shoot okay right, oh our... jill gave me the name of michael oliver he's the original guy who does metal okay i'm gonna check him out that might be the one your dad watches that's okay sounds, that's dad awesome. put it in the chat if that's who you watch okay he's <laughs> danny on. may says jack's thinking about going to an auction instead of working on his own we need a. That's right. This is true. And who's hosting a this week? Grimes. Grimes. Okay, Wednesday night, right? Yes. So everyone, make sure you go to Grimes Finds channel because he's going to go on after us yep. tonight, and he's premiering a video. We have three hundred and thirty-four people on. Close to three fifty. You guys, Not we wanted three fifty, but you know, there's always next week because you know what? This is Monday Night Live, and it's seven o'clock. 
it's seven o'clock. No, we're just getting started. We're just getting this party started. Oh, look at oh, Adventures with the Hudsons. There you nice. are. Thanks for all the shout outs. We appreciate all that you share to help us newbies. Absolutely, oh, yes. That's so sweet. I want to meet everybody. We need to do like a meet and greet someday. That would be so fun. Yeah. Or well, if we go down to Somewhere. Um, Ohio. Ohio? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, we should do that. Guys. We should. We should. Should hmm. we do that? Should we do that? We have 325 people on. I think we should. There's your dad. My dad. Just watch. Don't remember. <laughs> what? He doesn't remember the name of the guy. That was him. Oh, okay. Because the gal had said, that's so funny. Oh, my gosh. That's so hilarious. Okay. So is there anything you want to wrap this up with? Yeah. J Jeremy's saying, come to Ohio and meet everyone. Yeah, we want we to. just have to do that. Let's do it. I think we should do it before they go out of town. Before they go on their, you know, around the world trip. We need to do that. Is that from Australia? Oh, no. That's someone else. That oh, one. that's the, yeah, the, the YouTube channel. The guy's from Australia, I think. All okay. right. George, second that motion. Yes, come to Ohio. Yeah. Grimes is saying, see y'all on Wednesday. For I know. We're super excited. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, that's. I'm gonna just about do it. We're signing off. Let's do our signature sign off. But we will see you Wednesday night on Justin Grimes Grimes Finds channel. Mm -hmm. Let's and, hear it. Um, oh, we got oh. a super chat. We can't we can't ignore that. Sasha Green. <laughs> Hit the brakes. It's not over yet. Hey guys, UK here. You are worth it. And hello. Oh, Sasha. Thanks, so Sasha. Sweet. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah. Okay, so you want to finish? You want to do our signing right. off? Yeah. Come on. I guess. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here tonight. We really appreciate you spending the time with us. We do. And uh, we will see you Wednesday night, but we may see you even, you may see us before then we get a video out tonight. Yeah. Um, so stay tuned. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. See you next time here on, on Locker Nuts. Locker Nuts. Woo! Thanks, everyone.